All right, so a few of you guys have uh, spoken out and basically said that you're new to Linux or you're trying to get into Linux. You're not really sure where to start. Um, I know one. I know one of the viewers in particular. Um, he's actually about to be. He's about to be going into the university for computer science, and most of the time you're doing a lot of your C plus plus development um, inside of Linux. Um, and, and this is, you know, it's a great way to get started. So just to kind of give you an overview, this is Ubuntu uh, 12, I believe it's 12, yeah, 12.04. Um, this is the LTS version, which is the long-term service version. Um, and you, you'll find more about that if you just keep watching the videos and whatnot, or like I said, ask questions below and we'll kind of, we'll go into more detail if you'd like. Um, but this video, I want to focus on the terminal window. Now, the terminal window, the way to get that uh, to pull up is you just you can do the shortcut, which is Control T, which is what I just did there. Um, you can also go into your dashboard and you can open it up that way too. Um, so once we have this open, you're going to kind of see this you know blinking cursor, and you're going to from here you can type in commands. And the you know the machine will follow them. Now a few you'll you'll start to kind of realize um, the commands that you kind of know over time. You'll definitely I don't want to say there's a learning curve, but you'll you'll just have to pick up things kind of over time. Um, one of the biggest ones you'll probably want to know just from the get go is ls. Now ls is basically going to list all of the directories that are there. Now there are. Um, there are hidden directories just like in Windows that you can you can find those using uh, like LSA um, Those are gonna now basically if you look at this you're gonna see with the period in front of them, those are all gonna be the hidden commands And so you can see all of those there's other ones too But like I said this this video I just kind of want to graze over the top just kind of give you a little bit of feedback on what you're gonna experience now if you want to clear the window, you just type in clear, and that goes right back to normal. Uh, there's also make directory. So you probably, that's another one too. And so let's say you wanted to make the directory and call it uh, tester. So now if we do ls again, we'll see there is a tester directory right over here. And at any point in time, if we'd like, we can actually go into that directory by typing cd tester now I'm gonna show you two ways to do that just to make it a little bit easier but so you see now we're into the directory and we can do ls again now if you want to go back type CD see now we're back now but just something that'll come in handy later on once you start doing this a lot if you do CD test just type out and then hit and then hit the tab and that's going to automatically kind of give you the directory listing. And that also applies to files as well too, and that's going to help you out a lot. And if we hit ls again, we can see there's nothing in there. And like I said, cd brings you right back. Now there's also another command too is rm directory. So remove the directory. So if we wanted to remove test, we can remove it. And if we hit ls again, we'll notice that that directory is removed. So that's the biggest one. Now, if you also wanted to, let's say, create a file. So here's here's probably the easiest way to create a text file. So we do nano, and then we'll call. Um, let's. We actually we we technically don't even have to call anything. We can open this straight up. Uh, we can be like, this is a test. Okay. Now you'll notice down at the bottom, those are your commands to actually do stuff. Now, see, the the mouse really doesn't the mouse doesn't work in here. There's no way for me to move the mouse in here. Everything has to be done through the key commands. And the reason why is because you you can use this these exact same commands um, remotely. So if you were using another application. Uh, for instance, if you're SSHing in, and we'll find out more about that through some of these tutorials, but you you could essentially go into the server and run all these commands, okay? And so everything has to be done on the keyboard. So what you'll see to exit, okay? okay. And so to hold. save this, all we have to do is hold Control and then tap X. Now what you're going to notice it's going to say that the file has been modified. Do you still want to save it? Just hit Y. Okay, and then type in the file name. So you can and you can call it anything you want. Let's just name it test.txt. Okay. Now if we do an ls again, 
we can see that there's a test.txt. Now, if we want to, we can actually do a nano test.txt, and this will open up the file, and we can read it right here. And closing it out is the same thing, just hold, just hold uh, control, and then tap X, and that closes it out. And so those are, those are the same commands. Now, if you wanted to, you could kind of switch a step. If you already know you want to name a file something, you can name it test2.txt. Okay, open it up. This is test2.txt. Okay, control X to close. Hit yes. Okay, and then see how it's going to see how it automatically puts that test2.txt in there. You just hit enter. Now, if you do an ls, you'll actually see that that file's there as well, too. So both of those are there. Okay, perfect. So now what we want to do is let's make a directory, okay, and let's name this test. All right. Now if we do an ls, we'll see that there is a test directory. Okay. Now let's let's do okay. So let's do this. If we do test.txt, okay. Then we do test test.txt. All right. Now, just to explain what I did there, okay? I the cp command is the copy command, okay? Now, I copied the test.txt into the test folder, okay? And so so you can see this. So test is still there, but if we do a test Now, see so that's the folder. Now, just to make this here, let's make this just a little bit simpler. So let's do a clear Okay, let's do an ls. That's what we have. Okay, all right. Let's create a new folder. All right, and let's name this test folder. Okay. Now, if we do an ls, we can see the test folders there. Okay. Now, if we want to copy the test.txt file into the test folder, we just type in and see how it'll. Like I said, just do tab. Now, here, if you wanted to, technically, you could change the name to something else if you wanted. Um, most of the time you're just wanting to copy exactly what it is into there. So that's when you would do that. Okay. Hit okay. All right. Let's do an ls again. The test.txt is still there. The test folder is there. Okay. But if we do it, if we, if we actually go into the test folder, all right, and do an ls, there's your file. Now we could do a nano test and there's the file. So. Now, like I said, this is just an overview. This is just a few things that I kind of wanted to show you guys. Um, I know a few of you guys have been asking if you if you like this format, if this if you want to see more of this, uh, you know, just let me know. Um, these are just kind of the biggest ones that you're going to want to know. Moving around the directory uh, is probably going to be the biggest thing you're going to really want to get into, and you're going to want to see how to use. Um, there's there's a lot of other things that we can go into and we can cover, but you know, you guys let 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 us know what you guys want to see. For right now, I think we'll just kind of leave it at that, and then you know, rate, comment, subscribe, you know, the works, and just kind of let us know what you guys think. Okay, see. You.